We've been monitoring earthquakes uh, in our region for uh, about 45 years and in that time we've developed a bunch of different software tools to allow us to analyse the data, to locate earthquakes, to visualise data in real time uh, and also check earthquake locations sent from our servers. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Waves. So Waves has been out for a number of years now and we've had a separate program to locate earthquakes, we've taken the algorithms out of that program and built them into Waves. So we still go through the same process in waves of picking PNS times, but now we can click across to a, an earthquake location tab, which then places all of those waveforms on a distance spaced timeline, uh, overlaid with uh, a PNS velocity curve based on a 1D velocity model. So you can put in different layers and different velocities. The algorithm will then try and fit all of your PNS picks to produce the best location. So if your arrivals don't fit with the solution, you can click on them to turn them on or off. You can click the name of that station, it will take you straight back across to the waveform analysis side and you'll see where the expected arrivals based on your model want the P and the S and then you can adjust your pick and then move back to the location to see what effect that has. You can also release the depth, so if you've got a close enough station the earthquake will go to a depth that will fit better. Uh, and then you can see on the right hand side of the screen you've got a map that visualizes where that earthquake is and shows all the S minus P circles so the distance from the stations to the earthquake and obviously they will overlap where the earthquake occurred so you can do this with just three arrival picks but the more stations you have the better obviously if you're interested in trying out waves you can go to the USGS website look at the latest earthquake click on the waveforms tab uh, and it will take you across to extract the data from the Wilbur 3 archive on IRIS. Just simply drag it into waves and you'll see all of those waveform channels there. Pick your PNS waves. Then click across to the location screen and you should see a solution that matches the earthquake location.